Morning guys, so today I have started out the morning as per usual um, with dropping my mom off um, into town. She works um, in the centre of town. So I drove through there and then I went to um, the central market, um, which was lovely. I bought some flowers. Um, um, my mom's favourite of proteas. Um, doing a few errands um, at the shops and now I've just come to the gondola in Christchurch now I have been up to the top before um, I'm not actually going to go through the gondola today I was hoping that I could do a drive um, to the top because I know that there is usually a road you can access by just driving to the top um, but I've come to the parking lot and it seems as though I'll need to go all the way back into town and drive around to the loop to the top um, otherwise I can just do a half an hour walk but I'm currently in jeans and it's literally a steep hill straight to the top so um, I might just get a few photos around here otherwise um, you never know I might be driving to the top or we'll see what to do but yeah I hope that you enjoy um, this kind of day in the life vlog of um, Christchurch and showing you a bit of um, what there is to do and see um anyway i'll keep in touch soon bye <laughs> guys i've just come down um from the gondolas like just over there but i found this really cute street that is like picture perfect with trees going down and it's autumn at the moment so it's so beautiful um i could i just had to stop and take a few photos um but yeah i'll show you guys a little bit of it and all this um houses are so cute I don't know if you can see that little cottage behind me like just there um, but everything is so cute and I'm so happy that I found it it's a little bit dark at the moment because um, the trees are here and people are probably thinking what am I doing talking to a camera but um, yeah I this is why I love New Zealand because of these small little streets and um, in autumn time it's just beautiful with the mountains in the background and um, autumn leaves and stuff so to show you guys, check it out. Also, the realities of filming with a hat on, <laughs> it literally blows off every two minutes. I don't know how other people do it, this is my first time actually shooting with um, like one of these hats on and I mean it looks cool but it's a method. Um, so I wish I could just buy one of these houses, do it up and live here forever. Anyway, I think I'm going to go and head back now. I think it's a little bit fuzzy. Um, I'm going to go head um, back or try and find some other cute streets. Um, it's like a little cute church down there that I might explore. Otherwise, I'll just end up driving home and probably make myself like a smoothie or something for lunch. Um, but I'll show you guys anyway. Okay, that was a cute little mission. Um, so, I am going to go and check that um, church out, I think, and see what else we can find in this cute area. Um, but I really wish I could stay longer in New Zealand. It's so sad that I'm going to be leaving soon, but I'm trying to make the most of it at the moment. So, let's go.
turns out I think the um, church that I just passed is actually all locked up unfortunately um, which is kind of sad it looked really cute um, but uh, yeah I'm just gonna I think I'll see you guys back at home it was all open. <laughs> Good thing. It's okay. Yeah. Originally it was round on the hill in Bridal Path Road. Oh and they moved it? Yeah, made it in 60 and in 1926 they moved it down to here. Wow. Oh my goodness. So um, is, do they still have services here? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh they do? Yeah. Yeah. Every Sunday? A lot of weddings. Uh, oh. Wow, that was interesting. So I actually got to go inside one of the buildings. Um, I met a guy, I think that he was like the maintenance guy. He might have been, I don't know if he was a priest or, um, but he was really nice. He told me the history of it. I think he said it was um, built in 1860. So it's one of the last, um, the longest standing um, churches that are still left in New Zealand or in Christchurch so um, which that was cool and he actually said it used to be located up on the hill or just across um, from where its location is now and they moved it to where it is currently um, a few hundred years ago or um, I don't know how long ago but he actually also told me that um, the street that we were in before, prior, the cute little street that I couldn't rave enough about, um, apparently wins um, prizes each year for one of the best, um, most beautiful street in Christchurch. So, um, goes to show um, that little hidden street in some random suburb, and I thought it was the prettiest thing. It truly is the best thing in Christchurch. So. Um, I thought that was a little fun fact um, for the day and um, he actually they still do services um, alternate with this one and one around the corner um, every couple of weeks. <laughs> Um, and of course they like to just talk to me when they get home, when I get home. Um, and I'm going to pop the flowers um, in some water I think. Um, and make myself some lunch because I am starving. But yeah. really bad headache or just like in this area from when you've been driving and you're squinting so much into the sun especially when it's cloudy and overcast I find it really just gives me a headache um, and I kind of feel a bit dehydrated as well so I'm gonna have some cranberry juice
Okay. Jacking up. I think I've actually got the car keys. Get some stuff out the car. It's quite heavy these proteas I find. Oh. Mate, I swear this is hard. I know these aren't arranged correctly but I mean how pretty are they for a dollar can't go wrong so it's a little bit later now and um, I'm just glad that the sun's out today so um, had a nice sunny day and um, yeah I, um, it's a bit bright isn't it um, don't really have too much to say today um i'll probably do some more fun things tomorrow um and um yeah i'll might be going to the movies tonight so um that'll be fun um i'll catch up with you guys then bye